Yo, guess who's back, guys? Dan the Wolfman here, gonna bring you some new 52. And whether you're a blockhead or not, whether you're a Kali guy, a JKD guy, a Wing Chun guy, a kickboxing guy, an MMA guy that wants to do something a little bit different, or you're interested more in the self-defense aspects, I think you're gonna enjoy this series. So in this series, what we're gonna do is try to break down eventually all 52 of the blocks and the applications, all the counters off of them and how I use them. All right, so you've already seen the first set of 26, the second set of 26, if you haven't, do that now. While you're at it, smash that thumbs up and that subscription button. I'm here with my boy Henry. We got a little bit of Marvel vs. DC. We didn't plan that, that's just the way it is. And, um, all right, so the first thing is, is when you're starting off with this Philly shell. Now, especially if I'm fighting a tall, big dude like that. He's like 6'4", I'm like under 5'11". I usually go hard at first to make sure he knows I got some power and he needs to respect me. And he can't just walk me down and have his way with me. So, like, if it's, if it's a street fight, it might be close. It might be just elbow and knee smash time. If it's a fight on the street or MMA, we're sparring, we're out in the outside space, I'm going to usually go with a long combination, 1-1-2-3-2, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, to, to, to get some respect from this man first. Then I can use my lateral footwork attack by drawing draw him into my attacks, Bruce Lee style, and, and, and do my game off of that and use my movement, my speed, because that's what I'm going to have to do. So that's an important tidbit because everyone's always worried about the big guy. Well, I got a big guy. Okay, so starting off is kind of more Philly shell, and the first is just a simple catch, guys, forward pressure and down. Don't swat at it, forward pressure and down. We'll go slow, and then we'll kind of speed it up a couple times. All right, so we're both in orthodox here. I got the hand hanging low. Maybe I'm looking for my up jabs and to try and move my way in with head movement and all that. So he throws my jab. You know where a guy's aiming is your chin, right, guys? So you can have it right there, and I'm just going to catch right there. The first one, I'm going to catch and jab back, and now the upward angle is going to be harder for him to see. That's going to help me with the size disparity, the height reach disparity as well. So here's the first one, up jab. The second one, I'm going to go boom, one, two. The third one is jab and punch at the same time. It's not catch and punch. It's catch, punch I, when I anticipate it better at the same time. And the third one is catch, one, two, when I'm coming in hard. All right, so there's our four. Let's do that one more time and then we'll switch the angle. So, catch jab, up jab, catch cross, catch one, two, or catch and jab at the same time. I did them out of order, that's fine. I'm just showing you the applications. Uh, yeah, so let's go here. Right here. Boom. 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 Now I'm going in, I could go in my grappling, or whatever I need to do against the big man here, headbutt him, whatever is gonna go on. So that is your applications of the catch, which is the first block of 52. Hope you guys will like this series. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and look for the next video, yo.